Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to beat Mugen Train Hell Mode with 100% success rate. Doesn't matter if you're new and have no gear. If you follow everything I say in this video, you will always pass your raids. All right, before we start Hell Mode, let's make sure we got a few things in order. Clans, BDAs, breathings, and gear. If you do not have a good clan, I highly recommend you grind the dungeon in WAP City before you start doing Hell Mode. Completing this dungeon will give you 30 clan spins and you can do it every two hours. If we have a lot of sun ore, you can also turn those in for 15 clan spins every four ore. If you are new to hell mode, I recommend being a demon so you can use the regeneration from the Kamado clan. If you are a slayer, then Uzui is probably the best. Uzui. Just make sure to have healing potions because you will end up needing a few per run. The best BDA for hell mode is Swamp because the ult has a huge AoE and lasts a long time. If you're new to hell mode and want to be useful to your team, I highly, highly, highly recommend going Swamp. It's very easy to show how good it is, and if you follow my instructions, everyone will always want you on your team. The second best BDAs would be Ice and Reaper. Only use these after you gain some experience with Hell Mode because they're not as good as Swamp. The best breathing is going to be Sound. The ult is similar to Reaper's ult, and it will allow you to tag a lot of mobs at once. Again, I only recommend using Sound after gaining some experience in Hell Mode. Also, I quickly wanted to say you can actually complete Hell Mode using any breathings or any BDAs as long as you're good at tagging mobs. But if you're having trouble, I highly recommend you switch to one of the other ones I mentioned. All right, for gear, since we have two loadouts now, you wanna put your main gear in the first loadout and start off with that. Try to have at least a polar set because the damage reduction will help you live longer. Also make sure to have war fans as the projectile is very good for tagging and killing mobs. For your second loadout, just make sure to have your drop rate gear and only switch to this after Akaza dies. Okay, so now that we're ready to start Hell Mode, we need to find a group. Head over to the Project Slayer Discord and check the Mugen Raids channel. Here you can post your own stats, but if you want to make sure you never fail, I recommend creating your own team. Make sure to only pick people that are using Swamp and then send them this video so that you know they understand the strategies that are needed to never fail. You don't necessarily need 5 Swamp users, but the more Swamp users you have, the higher your chances of completing the raid. You also want to make sure you have three people that never fail the end clash. Once you have your team ready, figure out who wants to play middle for the core part, and then you're ready to get started. And one last thing, if you guys still can't seem to form a proper group, I'll be leaving a link to the best Hell Mode Mugen Train Discord server. This server is full of experienced players, and you will always be able to form a group for your raids. So once you're at the core, the team needs to split up into this formation. One in the middle, and each other person stands at a spawn point. You'll have the easiest time holding the spawn point if you can finish off the civilian in one M1 combo. Sometimes the civilian spawns while you're already in the middle of comboing one. When this happens, try to delay your M1s so that the new civilian runs into your combo and doesn't get past you while your combo is on cooldown. If one happens to spawn while your combo is on cooldown, simply follow it by walking backwards and then start the combo when you can. If you're getting too close to the core, Use your fan ability to push all the civilians back and then start the whole process all over. If your fan is on cooldown, you can use your swamp ult as an alternative. Make sure to not use any moves that make you undetectable because if a civilian has you targeted and you disappear, they will target someone else randomly and if that person doesn't notice, they might get comboed causing their lane to get overrun. Also keep in mind that someone is standing on the core in the middle. So if a civilian gets past, don't be so quick to rush to it. If your spawn point is empty, then you can rush to it and kill it, but if you see more civilians spawning, it's probably better to handle the new civilian spawning in and let the person in the middle handle the one that got by. For those playing in the middle, your job is to make sure no one gets overrun by their civilians. In Hell Mode, there is usually only one, sometimes two spawn points at a time that are spawning a lot of civilians. Just keep an eye on those spawn points, and if you see a civilian getting past the person holding it, you should use your fan ability to push them back. If a lot of civilians are coming from one side or multiple sides, use your swamp ult and it will fully protect the core. The ult will last long enough for everyone to be able to take control of their spawn point again. If you are in the middle, do not be afraid to use your other abilities because it doesn't matter as much if you go undetectable. Swamp has good long range attacks that can help you defend each spawn point from multiple spots on the map. Once you get inside the train, make sure everyone stays on the first cart. Two people should hold the back while the other three wait for the demons to finish off the civilians in the second cart. Once the demons finish off the civilians, they will start running to your cart. Most of them will get stuck behind the wall. 
For the ones that come through, one person should ult in the middle right here. Since the swamp ult has a cap on the amount of mobs it can hit, the other two should get ready to kill any demons that manage to get by. Once the swamp ult finishes, the next person should ult in the same spot, and everyone else should focus on the backside. By ulting this spot every time, you're basically negating all of the spawn points on this side of the train, since any demons that spawn will instantly die to your ult. With 5 swamp users, you can keep rotating your ults and never have to worry about demons on one side of the cart. If you don't have enough swamp users to permanently negate the mid section, then your team should split up in this formation. The objective here is to make sure you tag the demons as soon as they spawn. If the demons are near you, use your M1 combo, and if they're far away, you can use your abilities. It's okay if one or two demons get past your side because one of your teammates should be in the middle waiting for them. If someone uses their swamp ult, make sure to go to the other side to help as once the swamp ult is up, all the demons on that side will automatically die when they spawn. For the ammo part, there's not much strategy. This is actually the easiest part of hell mode. Just attack ammo with your M1s and use your abilities. Make sure to use war drums at the start for the extra damage boost. It's actually possible to knock ammo off the train so be careful for this because if ammo spawns too far away then they might use their ult so just try to stay close to them. You don't have to worry too much about the civilians because they will likely just die from your AoE attacks. If your health gets below half, use your Swamp Z to move away safely, then use your Komodo Regeneration or drink a potion. This is important because if anyone dies at any point of the raid, then the raid fails for everyone, so just make sure your HP stays up. After dealing enough damage, you will start the fight with the Flesh Monster. As soon as this starts, make sure you're Yo, why the flesh monster invisible? Project Slayers, yo, fix your game. I'm dead.